the trouble with exciting footballers is that they their excitement is not confined to the inside the rectangular white line on a Saturday afternoon. So will he stay or will he go? It's certainly, certainly I read a quote at the weekend saying Balotelli has played his last game this season for Manchester. Uh, Mancini is suggesting he will be sold, but then, hey, I say Tevez and wonder what the hell Mancini's up, up and on about. But will he go? Will he stay? Well, as I say, Roberto Mancini said he would probably try to sell Balotelli this summer after his red card at Arsenal, which some say, some say, has cost Manchester City their last hope of winning the Premier League title this year. Well, Federico Facciomini works for Radio Mana Sport in Italy. Good morning to you. What's Balotelli? Good morning, Alan. What's Balotelli been saying, Federico? Well, yes, uh, like I said for the sport, the Italian daily this morning opens with, you know, big picture of Balotelli kneeling on the cover. So uh, the big headline is Balotelli, a national case to highlight the fact that, you know, as his presence at the Euros is at risk and also that, you know, come this summer there will be a derby between Inter Milan and AC Milan to have him on board. So in Italy, journalists and people in general can't believe that Manchester City will be about to offload three strikers this summer because apparently Balotelli will leave with Tevez and Zeko. I mean, that's the perception over here at least. And of course, people are just astonished to learn that Man City have paid, you know, 23 million to have Balotelli and they could let him go for even for even less. Uh, in any case, you know, there is, I know, I know people in Italy generally where the Super Mario has reached his very last life in this game. Mm. And uh, he's perfectly aware of these. And yesterday morning, Balotelli called the Italian manager Cesare Prandelli, claiming that those were in retaliatory but normal fouls that you can commit in a game. So yesterday morning, Prandelli himself was at Novara training ground and said that he hasn't seen the video from Arsenal and Man City very well, that he still has to evaluate uh, what to do, so to see the intentionality of the foul and all that. And if the code of ethics that he has established in the team comes into play in this circumstance, so in 60 days anything can happen outside the pitch, and you probably know this. Uh, but apparently Prandelli has already decided he won't call Balotelli up for the extra training session, the training camp that will take place between the 23rd and 24th of April in Coverciano, the Italian HQ, but that's just because Balotelli will be suspended by then. Mm. So, uh, I mean, Prandelli knows that Mario isn't some thug. He thinks that Mario isn't some thug to be punished to the very end. You, you and in the word that at the moment is the most important striker for him as well. You make it sound like there, there's a queue of clubs that would happily sign Balotelli if they had the money, and uh, we all know there's money knocking about for good players always. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, well, initially the perception is that Inter Milan has got a kind of, uh, let's say, some moral pre-option for the player because he passed through the, the academy and also that perhaps he would fit better in a dressing room that like, you know, the AC Milan dressing room, which is more unified, is more united. He wouldn't have to get all the responsibility on his shoulders like, you know, what Antonio Cassano uh, was the same. Uh, because, you know, before coming to AC Milan, he was similar, very similar to Balotelli, and then apparently also got married. <laughs> so, he, you know, he was taking another another view, another perspective into life. But, uh, in any case, yeah. Watch, watching from, from where you are, the British clubs, do you think we handle these extraordinary talents uh, who have and I hate to sound racist, but have a Latin temperament, as we describe it. Do you, do you think we handle them well in this country? Well, uh, I mean, the perception here is that the club would, would handle him well, but, I mean, you know, who is handling him is Roberto Mancini, after all, so he's uh, another Italian, so he's the Italian manager. Uh, so I think, I think some people in Italy, you know, just think that perhaps sometimes the tabloids and the extra pressure of the tabloids on a player can be damaging. That's perhaps what the you know the common perception is. But normally, you know, if you go to an English club, you would expect to behave. So, <laughs> even if you know an Italian going to an English club, normally they would you know change and and behave for good. Really, I mean, uh, that's what happened in the past. Federico, good to talk to you, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Twenty minutes past eight on BBC Radio Manchester.